este o se están poniendo la Pfizer supuestamente Good evening, teacher. How are you? We can hear you. Can you hear me? Yes, in this moment. Yes. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Give it one sec here. How are you? Good evening. Good evening. How are you doing, you. guys? Good evening. Fine. Good evening. How is your day going? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you doing? Well, guys, it's really nice to see you today, especially because we are uh, finishing module, right? And this is going to be our last session for this module. So, um, thanks a lot for sharing your time. So thanks a lot for joining. How are you doing? Are you having a good day? Are you having a great, good Tuesday? Teacher. Ready? Great, great. Yes. Great. I'm ready for the last class. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, amazing. That's really good to hear. So Dagoberto, good evening. Cody, great to see you here. Claudia, good evening. Rafael, Susana, thank you guys. Did you have a good day? Yes, yes, I had a good day. All right, nice. That's really good to hear. So thanks a lot for joining. Thank you for sharing your time with us. Um, we're gonna try to have uh, like a very entertaining uh, class, right? Uh, to review kind of uh, some important topics, including the topic that we started yesterday that was about second conditional. Um, well, guys, I guess, yeah, we are going to get started hoping that the rest of your classmates will join us as well. And we are going to do a little vocabulary review. So I want you to get a pencil, right? A pen, a piece of paper, something where you can write. And I am sure that uh, you have played this game. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm sure you have played this before. So this is called the alphabet game, right? Uh, we're gonna try to play it and let's see if it works. So we have here different columns. So you have letter, food, clothing, animals, colors, and total. So you have six different columns. And you have two, three, four, 
So you have four rows, but um, I have done it this way because of the space. Um, probably when you were like uh, kids, you played this one in Spanish, the game is called in a different way, but pretty much the idea is the same, right? So uh, we have a letter and we have to write a word that it starts with that letter, right? Um, so normally we get 10 points for a word that is not said before, that is not repeated, and five, word, five points for a word that is repeated. And of course, if you got nothing, so if you have no vocabulary in the category, so you don't have points. And at the end, we like sum up all the different points and we get the total. So we're gonna play something like quite uh, similar, right? So you can speed up your brain a little bit, make it work and let's see who the winner by the end of the rounds is, right? So let me know guys when you are ready. So on a piece of paper, I will ask you to just draw, right? Uh, it doesn't have to be perfect. So just draw really quick um, this chart and include these columns, letter, food, clothing, animals, colors, and total. And let me know when you are ready. Did you play this before, guys? Have you ever played that? Yes. Bachillerato. Yes, yes, exactly. But no with this kind of, uh, I don't Categories. know, food, clothing, uh, yes, category. Uh -huh, yeah, <laughs> normally it's with names, countries. Yeah, we're going to make it work. <laughs> Actually, it's to speed up our brain. So let's see how much we remember, especially colors. I think they are going to be um, a big challenge as well as clothing, like to try to remember a word that it starts with different letters in the alphabet. So that's going to be really challenging. All right. Are you ready, guys? Is anybody ready? Hi, Sophie. Good evening. Adrian, good evening. Irvin, hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Great to see you guys. Thanks for joining. So we are just drawing like a little chart, right? And uh, let's try to get it. Let me know when you're ready, please. Ready. OK, thank you. Ready, teacher. Okay, perfect, perfect. Thank you. Okay, guys, uh, are you ready? Does anybody need like some extra minutes, some extra time? Or are you good? Are you ready? Yes, teacher. Okay, so let, let's have a try first, right? Uh, just remember uh, to write, oh, Spanglish is not allowed, right? <laughs> so mm -hmm. you cannot use words that we use in Latin American, for example, with pi, papaya, pupusa, all those things, no? <laughs> okay, just to make it fair. Uh, so in food, obviously, you can write anything that can be eaten, vegetables, a food fruit, so anything works. But uh, that cannot be Spanish, right? Um, clothing, so clothing, accessories, footwear, so anything that is related to things that you wear, that is okay. Animals, insects, so they are acceptable. Colors, obviously, there are more than 12. And the total is for you to write how many points you got. So let's have just first um, a try. Let's give it a try, okay? Um, because of the... 
nature of the exercise, I'm going to give you only uh, 45 seconds to try to complete it, right? So when time is over, you will listen to the alarm goes off, or if you finish first, guys, so if you finish uh, before the 45 seconds, so say don't, say finish. Hi, Enrique, good evening. Uh, say don't, say finish, and everybody should stop writing, right? So that is going to be the only thing I will ask you guys. Um, if you hear somebody say finish, so we will stop it, right? Because that means a person is uh, gone first. A person is um, finished first. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to give you the letter, all right? And I'm going to set the timer for the 45 seconds so you can go for the rest. Are you ready? Are you good? Yes? Yeah. Okay. Yes. No dictionaries, okay? So no cheating <laughs> and no Spanglish. <laughs> okay, let's okay. start. The first one, guys, letter S, 45 seconds. Letter S. Stop. Wow, time is okay, guys. Stop it. Stop it there. Um, regardless if you finished or you did it, stop it there. Nice. So uh, let's do something because the idea is if the word that you have is repeated, you get five points. If the word that you have is not repeated, you have 10 points. Obviously, if you have nothing, so no points, okay? Um, so in food, guys, what do you have in food? Can you say out loud the food that you have in case you sure. listen to the same? Sure. Soup. Okay, soup. soup. Spaghetti. I have here. Spaghetti, okay. Yes. I heard soup twice, I think. Spaghetti once. Anybody else? A strawberry. I have here. A strawberry. A Sophie, what is the word? Shrimp, camarones. Shrimp. 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 Okay, so shrimps. Okay. Salad. Um, salad. Okay. Salad. Shrimp. What Steve. is the word? A steak. Okay, a steak. Steak. So. Okay, soup. So that would be soup. Soup, you get five points, guys. For the rest of you, you get 10. I didn't listen to the rest twice. Uh, clothing, what are you having clothing? Sweater. Okay, sweater. sweater. Socks. Sweater, I heard two. Socks. Skirt. Skirt. Skirt, oh, Enrique has a skirt too. So five for skirt. a skirt, five for a sweater. Scarf. Sure. Scarf, okay, shirt. Oh, so Enrique care. not a skirt. Shoes. Care. Okay, sure, you said. Okay. Uh, so shoes. shoes. Okay. Does anybody else have a skirt? Shirt. Shirt? No. No. Only I heard once. A skirt? Only once. Okay. Uh shoes. Me. I heard somebody else, I think, as well. I said suit. Oh, suit. Okay. Yes. So I guess nobody else has shoes? Socks. Okay. Socks, but I think I hear Irby saying socks. So that would be five. Okay. So if you have sweater, five. If you have socks, five. For the rest of you guys, you have 10. Those are the only ones that I heard. Let me know if you have a repeated one as well. Uh, mm, sandals, okay. I think it was not repeated, so that's fine. That would be a 10. Okay, animals, guys, with S. Snake. Snake? Snake. 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 Okay, snake, sorry, snake. five. <laughs> yeah. Okay, there are more. A scorpion. Scorpion, yes. Sheep, over. Sheep. Sheep, okay, sheep. Yes, spiders, a squirrel, okay. A spider, yes. Do you have okay. any other, no? 
Does everybody have a snake? <laughs> okay, that's unbelievable. <laughs> so if you have a snake, guys, that would be a five. Animal. I didn't animal. listen to any other animal. So sheep, that would be a sea ten. Horse. Oh, seahorse. Okay. Who has seahorse? What is that? Seahorse is um, oh, a little animal. Horse <laughs> that is in the ocean. <laughs> yes. The one that appears in, in SpongeBob, I think. It is, uh -huh, it is pinkish. Yes, it is a seahorse. Yeah, it is okay. a pinkish color, like super, super small. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Uh, so no more, right? Okay, colors, guys. Colors with this. Silver. 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 <laughs> Silver. That's the oh. only one I think. <laughs> Almond. Okay. Sky blue. Oh, yeah, yeah, very nice. Almond Sky blue. Sky blue. Okay. Big green. Okay. Do you have a different color? Let's see. Ooh. Okay, so if you have silver, that would be five, but I didn't listen to the rest of the colors, so you're good. Okay, now here, guys, in total, you are supposed to do the math, right? For example, if in here you wrote sweater, <laughs> so sweater is only five points, so you start adding all those numbers, so you I do the math, that. five plus five plus ten plus whatever you have, and then here in the total, write how many points you got. So can you do the math right now, please? How many do you have? 25. Oh, okay. 20 points. 20. Okay, 20, 25, 24, okay. Cool, cool, I think we're good. Okay, are we ready for next letter? Okay. Okay, nice, let's go for it. Easy or difficult? Easy. Easy. Nah, come Easy. on, guys. Difficult. <laughs> okay. Uh, I guess it is difficult. So let's go for W. 45 seconds, guys. Go. Watermelon. <laughs> Thank you. Don't give them away. <laughs> so don't give them away. 45 seconds, guys. Wasabi. <laughs> well, that's something. It's, it's a compliment for the food. <laughs> <laughs> that's a yeah, garnish. Fifteen seconds. Waffle. Yeah, four, three, two. One, time's over. Okay, guys, time's mm. over. Stop writing. So probably some of them you will not find because some categories are quite complicated, but let's give it a try. What do you have in food? Butter. Okay. Hello. Okay, so water, water, melon. Anything else? And you can say a drink. Mm, it's actually, it's food. I would say just food. So watermelon will work. <laughs> so but yeah, whatever. It's a, a food well, for your soul. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. If water is value, wine is I, as I well. Say wine. <laughs> Okay. I thought so. <laughs> okay. Whiskey. I thought Whiskey. so. Whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> so, there okay. is not a oh, food. Yeah. So, water <laughs> is food for your soil, and whiskey is for what? For, for, for your wounds. <laughs> for your life. Uh -huh. <laughs> for your life. For enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> for for pleasure. Day. For... <laughs> okay. No, let's let's stay. Uh, let's let's just stick to food. So you said watermelon that works. Okay. Any other with W? I think I heard waffles. Uh, uh, Adrian, I think he said waffles. Waffle. So yeah, yeah, that's okay. Yeah. That's Waffle. good. Okay. Guys, uh, do you have watermelon? Does anybody else have watermelon? 
Yes, I have watermelon. Okay, so watermelon only five. Waffles, that would be a 10, right? A Peter, two. There, is a, there is a hamburger in McDonald's that it's, it calls Whooper. Oh, Are yeah, that's right. <laughs> oh, so you have a Whooper. <laughs> okay, very creative, but yeah, that works. Okay. Clothing, guys. What do you have in clothes? Oh no. no. I don't have it. Wallet, I guess. Oh, but it's, oh, it's wow. in the cloud. No. Well, nothing. Okay, there is something, uh, probably it's not very common in our country because of the weather, <laughs> but there is something that is called a waistcoat. waistcoat. Yeah, so what a waistcoat that? normally is like um like a coat, yep. like a For sort a of call. sweater. Uh -huh, oh. but for cold weather so normally it has like a lace and you tie it to your waist so it is oh. called waistcoat um because it's como un abrigo right but hasta la uh -huh. cintura uh -huh. oh, so it's like yeah. a sweater but normally it's uh the it's material like a cardigan i think waistcoat yeah actually yeah the thing is that a cardigan is the material if i'm not mistaken and mm, waste okay. is the name, but yes, that, that will work. Mm -hmm. I think it's the material. Um, wool, wool, queer, wool. Uh, not, no, that would be material. <laughs> wool, I think oh, you said, um, lana, right? Wool, uh huh. But that would oh, be material. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's the only one that I can think of. All right. Uh, animals, what do you have with W? Walrus. Oh. Whale. 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 Wolf. 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 I heard wolf twice. Wolf. 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 Walrus, I think I heard that twice as well. Wolf. Who else has a wolf? Wolf. Okay, wolf. so, okay, five points. <laughs> Any other animal? It's a lobo. Wolf. Yeah? Wolf. Any other? No, just those three. Okay, and colors, guys. Do you have any white. colors? White. Okay. White. White. <laughs> white. Okay. There are more, actually. So there are, like, more colors. Um, normally, the ones that, uh, that we know are, like, 12. But we have other colors, like... Um, Sometimes people add the word wild to the colors, like wild red, wild strawberry, wild. So like to make it super, super strong. So wild those brown. are colors as well. Wild brown. Like? Wild brown. I have That's never funny. heard, uh -huh, I have never heard wild brown, but I have heard wild strawberry. That okay. is like a pink, a pinkish color, super, super strong, almost like a fuchsia. So yeah, okay. Um, so guys, do the math, please. How many points you got so far and add it in your total so it can be a little easier. How many do you have in this round? 15. 15. 15. 15. Okay. 15. Okay. I think we're good. Okay. Let's go with an easy letter and we finish with a difficult one. <laughs> okay. okay. Are you ready for next? Yes. Okay. Yes. Perfect. Yes. Perfect. Perfect. I think it's easy. I don't know. Okay. D, guys. 45 oh seconds. Yeah. Go. Finish. Wow, oh my God. Okay, guys, let's start <laughs> writing. <laughs> okay, that's it. So let's take a look here. Um, okay, food. What do you have in food? Donut. Donut. Okay, so donuts. <laughs> guys, do you have any other food? No? Did you have time to write down? No? That was really fast. Dumpling. 
Okay. <laughs> okay, but I think that works. <laughs> okay, but it's the brand, but uh -huh, the same. Okay. So if you have done it, that would be a five. Uh, clothing, what do you have with D? Dress. 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 Okay. Diaper. <laughs> okay, so diapers. Is that clothing? Yes. For the baby. <laughs> okay, okay. So diapers and... or for the adults. Yeah, diapers. right. Okay. Uh dress, but I think I heard dress twice. So that would be a five. Any other? No. Okay. Animals. Do you have any animal with D? Donkey. Okay, so Eagle. donkey. Deer. Deer. Bingo. Bingo. Dolphin. Bingo. Dolphin. Dolphin? What's bingo? Oh, no. yes, bingo. It's a, it's a, a kind of dog. Dingo. 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 Yes. It's similar to wolf or duck. Is it a brand? Or is it like a sort of, I don't oh, know, uh, breed? Duck. Or... Is it duck? Duck? Thing. Oh, it's duck. Okay. Is it a... Is it a... Donkey. Dolphin. Dingo. Dear. Dingo. Dingo is a oh. Australian dog. Yes, but is that yes. the English name? Do you have any Only, idea? This is living in Australia. Dingo, the king of Australia. Dog. Oh, that's dog. the name dog. in English. It's a dog. <laughs> okay, dog. Dingo. Uh -huh. Thank you. I didn't know. Okay. Uh, very nice. So, okay, let's take a look at the ones that are repeated just to make sure. So, dolphin, how many of you have dolphin? Dolphin. Yes, dolphin. Okay, so you have dolphin. Sophie, do you have dolphin too? I have dolphin. dolphin. You have dolphin. Okay, so five. Dolphin five. Um, yeah, yes. Dog. Who has yeah. dog? Uh huh. Dog, choo -choo. Okay, so Sophie has it, so that would be five. <laughs> okay, but, but that has to be dog, not choo choo, right? <laughs> so no Spanglish. <laughs> okay, um, bingo, that would be a 10. Deer, that would be a 10. I didn't listen to uh, that one. Uh, and yeah, okay, colors, guys. Donkey. You... Oh, and donkey, that would be a 10 as well. I didn't listen okay. to anybody saying donkey. Colors, guys, what do you have in I colors? have donkey. Oh, you have donkey. So five. Yes. Donkey. No, Cori. Okay. <laughs> so in colors, dark blue. Dark. Dark blue. Dark. 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 Blue. dark. Yes, dark. Dark black. Dark green. Dark green. Dark green. Dark green. Dark green. Okay, dark so green. all the combinations of dark that you can imagine. Okay, that's okay. That's good. Except the dark, dark. No, wait. Dark what? Dark, dark black. Dark black. <laughs> No, <laughs> I don't think that has well, but you have already created a new word, so that's nice. <laughs> okay. Um so I guess I heard a couple of dark. I don't know. Do we give five for all of them? Yeah, right. Yes, so that would be better. Five. Just five for them. Okay. Okay, guys, and let's go for the last one. Do the math, please. Remember to do your math, like how many points you got. And let's go for the last one. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, yes, let's, yes, let's, ready. let me set the timer. So give me one second. Okay, the last one, guys. Letter T. Go. Wow. T. Oh, okay, okay, guys. So it's stop it. <laughs> that was really quick. Okay, stop writing, guys. Stop writing. Uh, and let's take a look, right? So food, what do you have in food with letter T? Tomato. 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 
Taco. Taco. Ah, taco. <laughs> but that's a Spanish. Oh, Mexico. <laughs> okay. But I said tea. Tea. Mm, but tea would be so a drink. drink. Uh -huh. So we said just food, something edible. Tequila. Okay. Which one? Tequila. I know. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> you mentioned tequila. whiskey, wine, whiskey, tequila. tequila. Come Tequila is a beverage. <laughs> Just Tuesday. Come on. <laughs> no food. Tequila is not food. No. No, the thing is that before uh, they included water and they say that water was a food for the soil. And then they said whiskey yeah. was food sure. for the, I don't oh. remember to enjoy. <laughs> for the life teacher. Now you include tequila. Okay. <laughs> I have tart. 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 Okay, oh, okay, uh, like right. a dessert. Okay, so tomatoes. Who has tomatoes? I think I heard only once. Me. Oh, so that would be twice. That would be only five points for tomato. Tart, uh, tequila, no. Tea, no. What else? Toast. Okay, toast. That would be a 10, I guess. I think nobody else has oh. it. Okay, clothing, guys. Let's go with clothes. T-shirt. Tie. Tie. Tie, but I think I heard Irvin say tie too, so that would be five. Uh, T-shirt. Tie. T-shirt. I, I heard a couple of T-shirts, so that would be only five. T-shirt. Mm -hmm. Anything yeah. else? Oh. I write top. Okay, like a top. All right. Does anybody else have top? Top no. Okay, so that would be a 10. You have also trainers that are the shoes, right? In British English. Okay, cool. Let's go Bye. with animal. Oh, Mauricio? Tiger. Turtle. 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 Okay, so turtle tiger. fire. Tiger. Oh, tiger fire. Tiger. Tarantula. Tiger. Tarantula. That's Spanish. No. Ah, oh, yeah, that's right. No. This is Spanglish. No. It's it's English. English. How do you write tarantula in English? The same tarantula. way. The same way. <laughs> no, but, but yeah, but we said like no words that are the same. Uh -huh, like Tucan. Mango, you know. Tucan. Uh -huh. Tucan, but that would be kind of a Spanglish as well. <laughs> uh. They are the same. They have the same spelling. Mm, guys, do we accept toucan and do we accept tarantula? Do we accept it or not? It's, it's not our fault that they, yeah, they have the no, same don't spelling. Have, <laughs> don't have imagination. <laughs> <laughs> to okay. invent the word. <laughs> okay, okay. I think nobody has the same. So I think you got 10 for those. Okay, guys. Now let's do the math. How many points do you have in total? In the color. Color. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I couldn't see that no. column. Okay. What do you have in colors? Okay. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> Turquoise. Oh, okay. I have turquoise. The same. And the Tangerine. Tangerine. Uh, tangerine, like like orangish tangerine. Oh, tangerine. Yes. Okay. Uh, I am not sure, but uh, uh, taupe is a uh, color, no? Like uh, yeah. beige. Yeah, I'm no, I don't remember exactly. Uh, I'm terrible with colors, but let me check. No, in my case, I know that it's a, like a beige, but I don't know is Spanish English. <laughs> No, but but yes. It's yes, that is the name in English too. Um, this is like, uh, what is the, uh, I cannot show you. Um, this is like a Blanco Hueso, I think, something like that. Uh, like beige, it's not white, white it's white dish. <laughs> white <board. laughs> No, Blanco Hueso, no. no. Teacher, turquesa. Yes, yes. So five for turquoise is uh no, no me lo acepta. No, you cannot see that because of the filter. Okay, okay, guys. Now you can do the math. How many points do you have? Seventy-five. Twenty-five. 
Okay, but like in total. So, so mira. Ajá, so mira. 85. For all the different categories, all the different columns. Uh, maybe not 35. 65. 55 in total. 60. 65. 65. Okay, 65, 85. 75. 75, okay. 80, ooh, okay. Does anybody have more? Oh, than... 80 Does anyone... 75, more than 85? 55. Okay, 55. I don't understand. Oh, the thing is that you have to be... Uh, you get five points if it is repeated, if the word is repeated. You get 10 points if it was not repeated. And here in total, you have to write how many points you got in each category. So what you have to do now is to get the total total. So you sum it up, you're right? So sum it up, sum it. Sum it up. 90. 90. Oh, okay. So you got 90. More than 90, guys. 40, 40, 50, 50, 50, 50. Who had 90? Uh, Sophie it's has 90, she says. Anybody else? Yo, yo no sé si se man mis cuentas. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> that is quite interesting. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> but <laughs> but everybody played it nicely, guys, uh, and everybody did amazingly here. So no worries. <laughs> yeah, you played it nice, and the good thing is that you made your brain work. So that was the the objective, right? So I think I think we don't have a winner because everybody did it nicely, and Sophie's not sure about her math. <laughs> So probably. <laughs> okay. Okay, guys. Now, but that was a lot of fun. So thanks a lot for playing alone. Now, yesterday we like discussed a couple of questions uh, about second conditional, right? And today I have a couple of um, what we can call dilemmas, right? Or some situations um, that... I don't know, we may face, but we are not 100% sure how to react or what is the way, the best way to react. So um, let's say, for example, that, oh, the first one doesn't apply for you. So never mind. <laughs> the first one says, what would you do if you found your class, um, if you found the English test in the school's bathroom, right? So I don't know if that ever happened to you, but uh, let's just omit the first. Let's go with the second one. We have this expression that says, what would you do if you run over a cat? So imagine you're driving or you are in the motorcycle and you run over, right? So the cat is under your car or under your motorcycle. So what would you do if you mm -hmm. run over a cat in a residential area? especially now in the country that there are some laws about animal protection, what would you do? Would you run away? Would you, um, I don't know, call somebody? Would you pretend nothing happened? So what would you do, right? So we have this word that is run over, right? So that is like go over something, okay. Sure. Yes. It depends. It depends if that are are die or are alive. Ah, uh, okay. That's a good point. Imagine, for example, like last year, I was driving in the morning, and suddenly I was in a turn, and suddenly a cat went straight to my my car, and it crashed my bumper. So I think I killed it, uh, but I couldn't stop because I was in a turn. So I didn't stop. <laughs> I mean, I continued, but I was in the street and it was uh, like four or five a.m. in the morning. It was super early. So, um, but what would you do guys if it is a residential area, for example? 
there is a problem if you if you stop suddenly because the the car uh, back to you uh, may crash with your car yeah i mean that that's that's another thing exactly if a car is like behind you or tailgating you so yeah that would be definitely that will become another um situation because you will get into an accident mm -hmm. um the other situation we have is what would you do if you found 200 on an empty bus right what would you do if someone bought you a cd or something for your birthday that you don't really like uh, and what would you do if someone in a shop gave you a $50 change? I don't know if this has happened to you. You buy something and they give you $50 change, but you were supposed to get only $5. What would you do? Do you return the money? Do you tell the, the clerk like, hey, look, you made a mistake. This is not my change. Um, it's only five, so please have the rest. Or would you take it? What would you do, right? So there is no right or wrong answer here. It is just for us to practice. And uh, yeah, that's it. So guys, please take a picture of them. I'm going to be sending you to uh, some groups so we can practice and we can share our ideas. I think they are like moral dilemmas. So there is no right or wrong answer with them. So I'm going to send you the invitation now and let's go. Guys, we have a couple of minutes to discuss them. So enjoy it. I'll see you in some minutes. I had experience like that, the, but that was in a bank. In a bank, oh. that I was a, the the waiter. No, it's not the waiter. It's the the la cajera. I don't know the the cashier. The cashier. The cashier, the cashier was gave me the money, and I, I I was watching that, and and I and I told her, please. Uh, you have to uh, count again, lady. You have to count again. I think you are you are giving me a one hundred dollar more. Wow. One hundred dollar more, oh. more. And he, and he began to 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 
Discount. Discount. And, you were and honest. Right. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. No, it's, uh, don't worry. But oh, imagine. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe you just say. Pero de cuenta, pues sí. Yeah. Her, her job. Uh -huh. That's a discount. Uh -huh. A discount for her. They, uh -huh. they have to discount the And probably she uh, she will be. Uh, um, ah, I don't remember the word. What? Fired. 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 Yes, yes. Fired. She can uh -huh. get fired. Yes. No, I don't think so. But they they the bank discount her. Yes. The teacher the is recording the class, the last one, please. <laughs> um, See, you, you have been in a correct way. What do you do if the teacher came into class with toothpaste on his or her nose? <laughs> what, do what do you, you do uh, if the teacher came into class with a toothpaste on his or her, her nose? I, I think doing home office, you don't see that. <laughs> so the camera is not the same. Teacher, you point. have you but, have you have toothpaste in your nose. But well, I have a brush mat. <laughs> but but I think these not necessarily the toothpaste, but it happens, for example, that when we are working or we have co-workers, you see a zipper down, right? Um <laughs> or some toothpaste left or something, you know? Uh, do you tell them? Or would you tell them in this case? Teacher, uh, uh, um, the doctor, one day. The doctor open, the doctor <laughs> sleep away. Sleepy. <laughs> it's away. Sleepy. Teacher, <laughs> I have but with with my blouse because the blouse was yes. um just similar at, at, the, at the right and at the left and i dress the 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 shirt inside out and i, and I uh -huh, instead out and oh. i didn't know about that and um I started a meeting in the oh, office. My God. It was so embarrassed. Did they tell you, like, hey, Susana, your yeah, blouse yeah, is inside maybe, out? Uh, no, but they uh, don't. They didn't uh, tell me in that way. Mm -hmm. I I remember a coworker um, told me, Asu, uh, we can go to the bathroom, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> and we go we went and and i put in a correct you way change uh -huh. yeah i change it <laughs> yeah that has happened to me you know <laughs> <laughs> really yeah that has happened to me as well especially when i have to leave my house early super early in the morning yes. yeah you are that, in a hurry <laughs> yeah especially these kind of blouses that you don't see which is the front part which is the inside part yeah, yeah. so uh-huh but yeah it's super embarrassing <laughs> Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. What about you guys? Do you tell your your female coworker or your male coworker, hey, you know, this is going on with your clothes? Yes. Um. I have a um a coworker, and this is a is a woman, and uh, she was a. Open her cremallera, I don't know how to say, or zipper. Her ah, zipper. The zipper. Mm -hmm. yeah, the zipper. And well, she, 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 I think she went to the bathroom and, and when he, and when I saw, I saw her and I, t I told her mm -hmm. that. Uh, she had a uh, uh, open the zipper, and it's embarrassing because uh, she uh, have to to attend the, the clients and many clients also. And because I am a cashier in in the in my job, 
Oh, and, okay. And she is the, is the, I don't know how to say, uh, vendedora, asesora. A salesperson, you know. a sales representative. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Oh, so okay. I told her. Yeah, but I think it's better, right? Well, I prefer somebody tells me, hey, there is something on your nose, right? Um, or, hey, your zipper is down instead of being embarrassed for the rest of the day. <laughs> okay. Sure. Sure. Yeah. Uh, I remember when I was next near to the pool, one girl, uh, um, Tanilla, Gerawa. Uh, out the sanitary towel. Out. Oh, the napkin. I I tell I told her and only to to her in in, in her night uh, her ear in her ear. Mm -hmm. I tell her. I told her. Wow. Okay. Yeah, right. That's better. <laughs> But yeah, that, that can be a little a little embarrassing, right? Oh, okay. I have a piece of paper in my uh, shoe when oh. I'm uh, of the bathroom. Yeah, right. Oh, for the and toilet. A piece ah, of the toilet, toilet paper. <laughs> toilet paper in your skirt. You you said the paper? You said it. Oh my god. <laughs> Recycle all the people. Spanish escuela. Let me. Crap. You can say crap or you can say like damn. Wow. wow. Okay. Yeah. And I walk and I walk sexy because I think, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> So you were oh, feeling oh, sexy at that moment. people are looking at you. <laughs> Holy song, crap. I think I'm sexy. <laughs> you, feel yeah. very, you feel very sexy. Oh. She was like, oh my God, I'm catching everybody's what attention. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. What about the rest of the questions, guys? <laughs> Daniel, why did you stop sharing? <laughs> Okay, Daniel. Let's I'm stop. sorry. Uh, Guys, I'll see uh, you in a bit. Let me go and check the other group. Okay. Uh, <laughs> what will what will you do if the teacher came into class with toothpaste on her nose? Well, if my teacher came into my class with toothpaste, I tell her, teacher, you have toothpaste in your teeth. <laughs> well, no problem with that. Well, I think that here in home office, you don't see that. <laughs> So that is one of the advantages. But we were discussing in the other group, right? That normally it's not only toothpaste, but sometimes toilet paper, right? Um, sometimes, I don't know, guys, tell us about your experiences. Or for example, the zipper is down or one of the buttons is unbuttoned. <laughs> okay, have you ever had any of these experiences? Maybe a piece of parsley <laughs> in your teeth? Yeah, oh, yeah, that is. Well, I think it's not a problem, teacher. Well, what is the problem with these guys, with these kind of things? Or a, a, uh, like some no, leftovers of beings. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, I have braces. I have had braces for a long time. So I am used to now. Uh, so I know that sometimes food gets into my, into the spaces I have. So parsley, uh, normally leaves parsley or coriander or something like that gets into my teeth and I'm like oh okay give me a moment I'll, I'll go and wash right but do you feel offended guys or would you feel I don't know embarrassed 
If a person told you, hey, your zipper is down. Maybe grateful, no. Ah, okay, thankful. Yeah. Thankful. thankful, ah, okay. Or, hey, your zipper, is, I mean, your blouse is open, for example, or there is a button missing, right? Has it happened to you guys? Maybe. I see only, well, only Vero and Yolanda are girls here, and then I just got boys. Boys, do you tell girls, would you tell a girl, like, hey, your zipper is down, for example? Because I think that the, of this sexual harassment thing, I don't know, would you tell a girl or a female coworker? No, I don't know. I don't know, teacher. Uh, so, boys, in your case, have you ever told a girl, hey, look, your zipper is down, for example, or hey, your blouse is open? No, I never. You've never done that? Would no. you do it? <laughs> mm, it depends on the person. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> why i would be super thankful i mean embarrassed but I, thankful <laughs> I, I i try to to tell her in secret but uh, i don't okay. know i <laughs> know uh, exactly but you would tell the person hey uh -huh. yeah something is showing <laughs> okay. but it's better teacher it's yeah. better to tell her because uh, and other people so the same uh problem no yeah I, I don't know but uh i don't pay attention for those things uh -huh. yeah sure i feel the same because oh, sometimes no. part of your i don't know underwear is showing for example or those little details like that there is something in your teeth or toothpaste or toilet paper, for example, do you have some toilet paper on your shoes or things like those, you know? So would you tell the person? I don't think you don't pay attention. I don't buy that. <laughs> so would you, would you tell a person? In my case, yes? I tell, tell him or tell her. Okay. Uh, long time ago, uh, my, my, I don't know, German boss, Mm -hmm. uh, ha, ha the zipper down oh. and I need to because we are in a meeting no yes. uh, it's, it's not good for him that all people saw the zipper down yeah <laughs> no and 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 people like feel really thankful you know like oops I, I feel embarrassed for a split second but then I'm like oh I'm super thankful you did it or you told me all right Adrian I think you wanted to say something uh, for example, in my world, uh, it has happened. Mm -hmm. uh, I, me, I will uh, tell him or her mm -hmm. uh, that you, uh, everybody, what the case, <laughs> or depend, uh, depend the people, mm -hmm. uh, what is the eventuality, for example, um, how do you say, uh, rebalsar lapicero? Uh, the ink flew over, or yeah. the, uh -huh, the ink the, floated. For, for example, uh, the people is use uh, the pen and the ah on the in like in the like in the pocket, the shirt pocket. Yes, yes. Oh, uh, okay. I I will tell him or her. You will uh, tell the person. Hey, you that, have the problem. Okay. You did here. Yeah, yeah. yeah, especially with ink, right? The, yeah. yeah, so it stains everything. All right, yeah. good to know. So if you ever see toothpaste on my nose, guys, tell me. <laughs> okay, but it's just different, I guess, in home office. Okay, guys, oh my God, time is about to finish. So let's go back. Uh, thank you guys for coming back. I hope your practice was 
productive, entertaining, and I guess we learn uh, something, right? Uh, so guys, if, I, if you ever see me with some toothpaste, let me know, please. And I think you will tell me as well, right? So that is the good part of it. Give me one second. The other group, I guess, is still discussing the questions. <laughs> So <laughs> I guess the time was not enough and I totally get that, but I hope you have a very nice practice. Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, thank you for joining guys. It was a very nice practice, uh, a very entertaining one. And uh, it was really cool to talk to you and uh, to listen to your ideas, to listen to your experiences. Um, we are like just almost finishing here. So I just wanted to share um, this little thought with you. And it says, this amazing accomplishment, oh, sorry about the thing, is just one step on your journey. So guys, as always, it is such a pleasure to share with you uh, and uh, and to talk to you, I think I told you a previous module. Um, the, this has been, guys, uno de los grupos más geniales que he tenido en el sentido que I can speak English and you follow me and you try to communicate your ideas and uh, you are always participating in sharing experiences. So it has been a very, very cool experience to be with you. Enrique says, I wanna propose uh, that we go to the beach for having finished the course. Oh, wow. Okay, guys, do you know each other? <laughs> okay, se conocen, do you know each other? No. No. No, yet. No, the beach is too far. Maybe we yes. go to the Mr. Donut, and we have yeah. to somewhere, uh, somewhere to take something, and we. I we agree. Pay. But the rule yeah. is we have to talk in English. I, I have a, a suggestion, yes. teacher. Yes. Yes. <laughs> a meeting in the Pollo Real. We ah, go. Well, the Pollo Real. <laughs> okay. Well, I Rafa have. Rafael, give a discount. <laughs> yes. Hi, <laughs> Rafael. That's right. <laughs> wait, I'm like, wait. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Ra guys, we should. Free for you. Free Sorry? For you. you free for you. The, the lunch. Ah, <laughs> okay. No, guys, that would be amazing. Uh -huh. I thought you knew each other. No, so face to face. No. No. no, but the thing is that are you from San Salvador? I live in San Salvador. Oh, I live in, oh, I live in Santa Ana. So uh -huh. That's so what I thought. No, but oh, the house is so close. I am awakened. Only Santa Ana is, or let's go to Santa Ana. <laughs> well, guys, if you organize something, you just let me know and I'm in. Oh, uh, Saturday, Saturdays and Sundays, I'm free just at night. But you just let me know. <laughs> okay, no, but it has been a, a very nice experience, guys. I have class this Saturday, but maybe Sunday. Yeah, I mean, if you can organize something, at least the place and the time, I think we can meet, right? Uh huh. The wish is too far away. Teacher, but are you going to be your teacher in the next module? I'm I would like sure. to. <laughs> I'm not sure because I have been with this group for two modules. So, oh, really? yeah. Mm -hmm. But oh. who knows? <laughs> so we never know. Yeah, guys, yes. if you can just help me with your camera to take your picture, that would be amazing. So because oh. I forget to take the picture of class one, so I can take the picture for this one. Uh, thank you, Elvis. Nice to meet you. <laughs> uh, Beto, I don't know if you have a camera. So Irvin, I don't know if you can help us with a camera for a minute. Thank you. A smile, guys. <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah. There you go. Thank you, guys. <laughs> it has been amazing to be with you. And I hope to see you soon, or I hope to meet you too. 
So if thank you, you get in agreement, okay. so thank you, teacher. I'll be seeing you soon. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. Bye, Bye, guys. Have a good night. Bye. 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 Bye